All right, I'm gonna do several examples where you have to find a difference quotient. This is a difference quotient. Quotient just simply means like to divide or a, a nice fraction, okay? Difference means to subtract. You won't have to have this equation memorized, but you have to be able to use it. So quickly, I'm gonna do three examples here that I found off of the study plan. We're gonna do all three of them. So if you don't need to see like the first two, you can fast forward maybe and see the last part. So what this wants you to do is find, first of all, f of x plus h. So remember, in your function, wherever you see an x, you're gonna plug in x plus h. So right here, I'm gonna find this, f of x plus h, wherever you see an x, I'm gonna plug in x plus h. So that's this. So this gives me 8x plus 8h plus 10. That's that, okay? Now, in the difference question, it wants you to take that and subtract your original function, okay? So I am gonna take this, 8x plus 8h plus 10, that's this part, I'm going to subtract all of this. Now, I'm gonna be lazy here. Remember when you subtract, you know, I could put this in parentheses, because you're gonna subtract it all, which means you would then have to distribute this minus sign. Basically, I have to subtract each term, so that's gonna change the sign of everything. So I'm gonna subtract my 8x, but I also wanna subtract my 10. So watch your signs real careful. Had that been a, a negative, a minus 10, you would have ended up changing that sign, it would have been a plus 10. All of this is over h. Now, a little hint, if you do this right, most of this should cancel. Notice my 8x cancels, and my 10s cancel. So I'm left with 8h, over h, those cancel, which gives me eight. So that's your answer right there, okay? Nice and pretty. Okay, let's try this next one. Again, the first thing you wanna find is f of x plus h. All that means is take your original function and wherever you see the x, you're gonna plug in x plus h. So that's what that looks like, okay? Kinda ugly, just leave it like that. So when I do this part, when I, I'm just gonna ignore um, my this part that says over, where is that? I'm gonna ignore this for right now. I'm just gonna find my numerator for right now. Otherwise, this one's gonna get kinda ugly because I'm dealing with fractions. So, I already found this, f of x plus h. There's that, we just found that. I'm gonna subtract my original function. This is f of x. So I'm subtracting, notice I'm subtracting a negative, which is gonna make that a positive. Okay, here's what's gross about this one, and that's why I chose to do that. Anytime you add and subtract fractions, you have to have a common denominator. Notice they both have 18s, which is great. But this guy has an x plus h. So he's like, I want an x plus h. So if you give it to the bottom, you have to give it to the top. Notice that's technically x plus h over x plus h is one. That's why I can do that. Okay, he has just a little boring x right here. So this guy's like, well, I want a boring x. So if I give it to the bottom, I gotta give it to the top, okay? So here's what I have. I have a negative x, and then one times x is x, one times h is h, all over 18x, x plus h, okay? Notice my x is cancel. So I am left with h over 18x, x plus h. Now, we haven't found the difference quotient yet. All we did was do the numerator. This is all divided by h, okay? So that's kind of weird looking. When you divide by h, remember, I'm gonna write this right here. If you would divide, that's what that means, if you would divide by h, I'm gonna do this for you this first time. Remember how you divide fractions is you multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna come down here. Here's my 18x, x plus h. I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So these h's would cancel. So my final answer is one over, and this is exactly how you'll enter it on my math lab. That is your answer. So weird, I know, okay? Looks ugly. So once you kind of learn when you're at this step that these would cancel, you can kind of jump from here to here, but do remember if you would have this on a written test, okay, you must show some work. I'm showing all kinds of work in here, okay? 
All right, last one. I did this one because we have something squared in here. We have a minus sign. That always makes it a little bit more interesting. But first, we're going to find f of x plus h. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in x plus h. Now, there's two reasons I did this. A lot of people forget that when you square something, I'm going to look at just this here for a minute, that you will get three terms. And a lot of people will forget the middle term. But this means x plus h times x plus h. So a lot of people will remember the first term, which is x squared, and they even remember the last term, which is h squared, but they forget the middle term. Don't forget you have to take x times h, which is xh, and they have to do your middle terms, which would also give you, a, I can't even say it, xh. So when you square this, you're getting x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay, that's just this part. Okay, but be careful because it's 8 minus this. You remember when you subtract, you're subtracting all of this. So it's going to change your signs. So it's going to be x minus x squared. You're also going to have to change that sign. So it's going to be minus 2xh minus h squared. Okay, so that is the answer for f of x plus h. And that's it. So I'm going to get some more clean paper right here. So on the difference quotient, remember, I'm going to flip back up here to my original equation. We're going to take what we just found. We're going to subtract the original equation, the original function. So I'm going to take, here's what I just found, 8 minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared. Okay, I'm going to subtract my original function. When you subtract, you change all the signs. So it's going to be a minus 8 plus x squared. And remember, this is all over h. Don't forget that part. Okay, if you do it right, a lot of stuff's going to cancel. Notice my 8's cancel. My x squared's cancel. Okay, because that one was a negative and that one's a positive. So I'm left with negative 2xh minus h squared over h. Now, both of these terms are divided by h. Okay? So I'm going to have to take an h out of both of them. Here, I would be left with a negative 2x. Here, I'm going to be left with minus h. So that is my final answer. Hopefully, everybody remembers if you would have this. Remember when you divide, you subtract your exponents. That's how I got that. Or you could think this means this. That's what h squared means. Do you see how one of those would cancel? So I'm still left with him. Okay, so just make sure, be careful when you simplify here that both terms are divided by H. And that's it.